Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to take a look at this Mono Red Obosh deck, which um, is a new trend here with Akoria. Obviously, companions are all the rage, and you can see why. I mean, anytime you can essentially draw an extra card in your opening hand every single game, you should probably do that. That's a very powerful effect, right? So I can't really fault people for doing that. Um, so consequently, the Mono Red Aggro deck that was terrorizing Standard about a month ago is now, dare I say, borderline obsolete. Or so, that's what uh, meta percentages would tell you. I still think that's a very good deck. And this Obosh version uh, obviously doesn't get ac access to Torbran or Embercleave or Robber of the Rich for that matter. But we kind of make up for that by just playing just way more one-drops. And then a uh, Heraldic Banner, which is an Anthem effect that really goes hand-in-hand -hand with Obosh. A lot of times you'll double the power of your, well, all of the time, you'll double the power of your 1-1 guys with the Obosh and a Heraldic Banner down because they'll be doing double damage. So that's pretty gnarly. Um, I'm going to run some games in the ranked arena and see just how good this deck can be competitively. I do believe it's already turning out some results. Um, there's also the mono black version of the Obosh deck, which is probably better. But I'm hoping to get some games in with this Obosh build, and then maybe some straight up mono red games without Obosh and kind of compare results here. Because I do still think the mono red deck that doesn't play Obosh, like the Theros Beyond Death mono red, is still a very good deck. This is not the perfect hand, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it. What's the worst that can happen? Opponents just not playing things. Which is interesting. We'll put down our Scorch Spitter. Pass the turn. They must have a Shatter the Sky in their hand or something. What if they had... Bless you, kitty. I don't know if the mic picked that up. My cat is sneezing his head off over there. Arnold Lee. What you got going on over there? What are you playing? Prison Realm. Okay. Taking the Scorch Spitter. Taking the Grim Initiate. Taking the Scorch Spitter. Probably the wise choice. Okay, we're probably good on land now. Heraldic Banner. We'll throw down the Fervent Champion. Get in. Fourth plane for opponent. And they can probably start doing some cool things now, you would think. You would hope. Birth of Melodist. That's not that cool of a thing. What's going on in their hand, I wonder? Because we can Obosh here. Get in for a bunch of damage. Elspeth conquers death on the Obosh. That's a good play. But it did its damage. It certainly did its damage. Um... That's 10th Street Dodger. Swing in with the gang. Now, if we castle Embrith here, which I think I want to do. Well, they're going to gain they're going to gain some life at the beginning of their upkeep. I'm just terrified of a sweeper. Okay. I'm just doing some calculations in my head. We had this game won. That's my favorite part about streaming, demonstrating just how bad at math I am. 
But okay, we get the win that time on the play. Uh, our opponent really didn't do much. So I'm not going to count that as a true win. Let's get another one in. Maybe our opponent will interact with us more. I wonder, they must have had some kind of payoff for keeping that hand. I guess we'll never know. We get to go first this time against another Obosh. Okay. I wonder which which uh, version they're playing. This is a decent hand. It's not the best. But we have uh, we got our Scorch Spitter. We can Bone Crusher on turn two. Maybe play him on turn three. Probably put down the Heraldic Banner on turn three. Alright, opponent, what do you got for us? A shock. Yep. We have to pass. Opponent puts down a Scorch Spitter of their own. We'll just take it out. Alright, we're good on mountains for the game at this point. Last thing we want to be doing is flood, flooding over here. Opponent throws down an Annex hardened in the forge. Put a banner down and see if opponent will trade. They won't. And then I think I want to hold up this bone crusher. But for what? Why would I do that? Um, we'll put down a fervent champion. Next turn, we can Obosh, hopefully. And then start doing cool things. An opponent just scoops it up. Alright, well, we got the dub that time, but going first definitely helped. That's a matchup in which uh, he who goes first will probably win. In a mirror match like that, obviously, it's very important. So we're 2-0, and but um, doesn't, it, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it, so we're going to keep playing. A Karuga deck. Boy, would I like to go first against a Karuga deck, but going second is not the worst thing against a Karuga. I like that they threw their hand back. We'll keep this. Certainly had worse opening hand, so we'll give this a go. Um, Grim Initiate. Pass the turn. This is not a very fast hand that we have, which could be our undoing. See if we can get a mountain off this light up the stage for next turn. We don't. Now if we do draw a mountain on our turn, we have a difficult decision to make between the Annex and the Banner. I think I want to go with the Banner. I mean, I guess we'll cross that bridge if we come to it, even. I mean, we could totally not draw a mountain, but our deck is not going to be that mean to us today. Oh my goodness, what a difficult decision. Opponent probably is wondering what we're going to do as well. I'm going to do the banner, opponent. I don't know if you saw that coming or not. Are you going to counter it? Red.
opponent must must have like an omen of the sea or a bone crusher giant or brazen borrower okay yeah that'll go back into our hand now we can't cast our shock on anything ah shucks now sweepers are online for opponent too something to watch out for Let's see if we can play this. I'd very much like to. Alright, it'll at least resolve. Let's see if it gets bounced. Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. That happens. Oh, two stomps. Well played, opponent. Well played. Well. Adventures, ladies and gentlemen. Opponent throws down a Bone Crusher Giant. We're gonna take four damage. Killing it. So needless to say that Bone Crusher did its job for opponent. Um Should I put this Obosh down here? I wanna put Bone Crusher Giant down. Swing in for a whopping one damage. And then... Scorch Spitter. Like, I'll be honest, things aren't looking the best for us right now. But uh, I've uh, gotten myself out of worse jams, that's for sure. At least we're playing an actual game this time around competitive game and that's what I was afraid of there goes our creatures sweepers were on oh you would have been nice a turn ago <laughs> annex you would have been great a turn ago let's throw him down now <laughs> oh man late arrival annex nice troll doc nice troll <laughs> big turn here There's the Bone Crusher Giant. Yep, bring it on down. Come on down, Bone Crusher. A second banner. I'm gonna Obosh. Oh no, what do you have, opponent? What is that last card in your hand? Alright, we'll see if opponent wants to trade. I mean, they almost certainly will. Why would they not? But let's see if they double block. Let's see if they... Okay. They're just going to block it straight up. We're going to get a couple guys who don't benefit from Obosh's Anthem effect, obviously, if you want to call it that. Brazen Borrower comes down. I was wondering when we'd see that. At least the satyrs are red. Okay, so... They can cast their Karuga now and draw a couple of cards. Ooh, no! Wellspith conquers death. Oh, that just about does it for us. That's rough. That is rough. Okay. How should we play this? 
We have three mana. Get in here. Put down the Bone Crusher. Pass the turn. Now we got an expensive shock in our hand. Hopefully opponent drew a land. Please? Well, it doesn't matter. They're going to draw three cards. They've certainly got options at this point. I mean, they must. I just hope we draw a shock. I hope we draw a shock. <laughs> if we draw a shock, we can win. Come on, opponent. I know you got a second spell. Don't tease us like that. Oh, no. They destroy everything. Oh, lordy. Phoenix of Ash is not terrible, though. Now, opponent's probably going to put the Borrower back on the field. Right? What else have they played this game? Yeah, the Borrower. Okay. Can opponent kill our Phoenix of Ash? Can they do it? I mean, even if they can... Oh no, two Flyers? Opponent just has all the right answers for us. No, we're going to... We're going to hope we top deck a uh, shock again. <laughs> or a bone crusher giant. We got one chance. One opportunity. See, ah, that's not it. That's not it. Ah, good game, opponent. Good game. Oh, man. So close. So close, yet so far away. Let's show opponent how close we were. <laughs> That's it. Alright, well, almost. I'm quite pleased with our performance, though, all things considered. Opponent just drew just the right things. That was a fun game. That was a, that was a fun one. Now, a lot of the mono red decks that weren't playing Obosh about a month ago, um, they didn't really play Phoenix of Ash too much. You see a few rogue lists that uh, had maybe two of them, maybe one or two of them. But uh, in this deck, Phoenix of Ash is very important. And this is just absolutely not a keep. That's better. Okay, uh, should we toss back a mountain? Yeah, let's toss back a mountain. Man, what a game that was. I am sweating after that one. Hmm, how suspicious of you, opponent. Get in with the gang. Stone Coil Serpent. We got something for that. I mean, we might as well get rid of it, right? Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. Anyone need a fire started? No. Study. They're gonna tick her Focus. up. I just want to burn stuff already. Well, now we can Obosh. And this game is not looking good for opponent. I don't really care about the Chandra. I 
the opponent doesn't do something about this Obosh this turn, they are in grave danger. Luca, oh no! They're gonna take our Obosh from us. If you will not see Don't things worry. my way, I brought company. Unless, what are you trying to hit a Winota? It can all become okay. What the? Okay, they just scoop it up. So everything was happening so fast there. All right, Obosh. Even on the draw. Too fast, too furious. Okay, so what did we learn today? Um, Obosh Mono Red is a good deck. Is it better than the Theros Beyond Death Mono Red? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. I'll probably upload uh, some, some games with the uh, Theros Beyond Death Mono Red deck. And we'll compare results. But what do we go? 3 and 1 just now? Here's the list that I think is optimal for uh, the obosh list mono red, if you want to call it that. Like I said, having access to Embercleave and Torbran and Robber of the Rich, I mean, it's hard It's hard to argue against, right? Those are phenomenal cards. You'll notice I'm, I'm actually playing two copies of Blazing Volley as well, just because there's so much aggro in the format right now. Everyone's got Lurus as their companion. And uh, this is a good counter for lure cycling decks and, you know, a few others. Um, so that's that may change by the time the video comes around. I was experimenting with um, a couple other cards in that slot. But I'm rambling. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you do all the YouTube stuff for me. And as always, let me know what I did wrong in the comments. <laughs> the plays I missed because, uh, yeah, those, those, <laughs> those happen. <laughs> those absolutely happen. But uh, catch you guys next time.